All right, let's move on to problem three, which is a uh, class favorite. This is Jack Bauer trapped in a parking garage by some terrorists. We have the total mass of the terrorist, the mass of Jack. Um, his speedometer reads such and such before he collides with the terrorists. Well, he has to ram through the terrorists, okay? Um, such and, speedometer reads such and such before and such and such after. And the terrorists you know, are standing still in terror before. So what's the average speed that the terrorists go flying through the air afterwards? So let's look at that. Oh, here's my Superman problem. Do, 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 do. Okay. So um, let's go with, uh, let's see. So beforehand, we've got Jack's SUV. Okay, so there you go. That's, that's a six wheeled SUV for some reason. All right. So um, with some initial velocity, so I'm going to call this UJ, Jack's initial velocity. It's got some mass MJ. Then the terrorists which are standing still mt and ut equals zero. Okay, so they're all on the ground. And this is our before. And here is our after. And Jack is driving through. Uh, now he's only got two wheels on his SUV. It's, it's a transformer or something. I don't know. Um, and he's got, you know, his final velocity VJ. And the terrorists are all flying with an average velocity of VT. Okay. So, um, before... So, so what we've got here is we've got... Um, We've got basically all the information we want about the problem before. So we can just put all this, you know, all this together and, and find momentums for everything here. So before, Jack's momentum is MJ UJ, and the terrorist momentum is zero, which means your total momentum for the entire system is MJ UJ, so it's Jack's momentum plus the terrorist momentum, which is zero. So the total momentum of the system is just this. Afterwards, Jack's momentum, he's still got the same mass, right? So it's just his velocity has changed. So Jack's velocity afterwards is mjvj, and the terrorist velocity, or I'm sorry, Jack's momentum afterwards is mjvj. I'm sorry. And the terrorist momentum afterwards is mtvt. And we were given this, we're given the masses were both. We were given Jack's final velocity, we were not given the terrorist's final velocity. So we need to uh, find that. So P total afterwards is going to be MJVJ plus MTVT. Now, why did I add up and find total momentum? Well, it's because conservation of momentum, which we just learned, um, applies here. So what we can do is we can say that, the, that because this is a closed system, these guys are only interacting with each other. Um, Jack's change of momentum is going to be balanced by a change of momentum by the terrorists. It's going to be equal and opposite because any impulse Jack exerted on the terrorists, the terrorists exert right back on Jack. That's Newton's third law. It says the terrorists get to get to push Jack just as hard as Jack pushes them. So um, what what this means is that these two p totals, which I'm going to underline now in blue, these two have to be equal. You can't gain or lose momentum if it's a closed system. Now, if somebody else had come in and given Jack a shove in the middle of this problem, then that would it wouldn't be a closed system anymore. We couldn't do this. But because it's a closed system, we can. So MJUJ, which is our before momentum, is going to be equal to MJVJ. So this is Jack's momentum afterwards, plus MTVT, which is the terrorist momentum afterwards. So before, Jack has all the momentum. Um, he's driving the terrorists, and they're just standing there. They're not moving. So they're just, you know, oh, oh my gosh, he's going to kill us. Um, and then afterwards, Jack has some momentum, and the terrorists have some momentum. So the terrorists basically get, Jack gives the terrorists some of their momentum. Or, sorry, Jack gives the terrorists some of his momentum in a very painful way. Or that's what he hopes, at least enough to stun them, right? So um, we can collect these terms, MJ, UJ, minus MJ, VJ equals MTVT 
and then we can uh, do a little collection here and we can say um, mj times uj minus vj equals mt times vt and then bring it all together and that gives us vt was what we wanted to find the final velocity of the terrorist. So we're going to say vt equals we're going to divide it all by mt, mt. so mj over mt times uj minus vj. Okay, so let's get some numbers and plug them in here. Let's see. Uh, we had 1,800 kilograms, 850, 58, and 22. So MJ, let's see, so VT equals Jack's mass is 1,800 kilograms, or this SCP's mass. Terrorist, 850 kilograms. And then this was 58 kilometers per hour, minus 22 kilometers per hour. And so if we put all this together, then we get um, Vt equals 1800 divided by 850. Kilograms will cancel out, right? So 1800 over 850 times, and then this is uh, 58 minus 22, so this is 36 kilometers per hour. So if we multiply all this out. Um, let's do, 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 1800 divided by 850 times 36 equals. Okay, so the terrorist final velocity is 76 kilometers per hour. So let me see. Vt equals. 76, let me make sure I've got that right. How do I count? 76.2 kilometers per hour, I'm going to say. Okay. Okay, well, can we just go plug this in? Ah, but look, they want terrorist meters, terrorist speed in meters per second. Whoops. So let's take our 76.2 kilometers per hour and it's going to just be a little unit conversion. So we've got kilometers on top, we've got a thousand meters in one kilometer, and then we have hours on the bottom, there's 60 minutes in, wait a minute, uh, sorry, one hour converts into 60 minutes, and one minute, 60 seconds. So, now we're going to take our answer, by 100, divide by 60, divide by 60. And we get 21 meters per second. So let's see, equals 21, and sorry, what's our 21.2 meters per second. All right, 2 meters per second. And let's try that. 21.2 meters per second. And it's correct. All right, on to the next one.